Okay, today we are working all upper body arm strength. So we're going to start with some rotator cuff. So just stand in any comfortable position, elbows bent 90 degree angle. And you're just going to thumbs pointing out, open up. So your elbow is your pivot point. So you don't, don't want the elbow moving closer or further away from your body. And you should just feel some gentle work. Rotator cuff is a stabilizer, kind of like our transverse abdominis that we always talk about. So these are itty bitty muscles. So they like slow pace and breath. So nothing forced. You want it really easeful. Just imagine, keep going while I'm talking. Imagine this humerus, this arm bone, just moving in that hip, in that shoulder socket. Yeah, so it's just moving, rotating. And when our joints move, synovial fluid gets produced. Synovial fluid, I picture it like WD-40. My dad loves WD-40. He sprays it on everything, and it's amazing. It lubricates, and everything moves good. So imagine that as you're moving, you're just getting more WD-40 in your joint to move it. Yes. Okay, we're going to just take it into some nice, easy shoulder rolls. Thinking of your shoulder girdle. Yep, so this whole scapula shoulder. And then some just nice scissors. As you're scissoring, keep the cord nice and tight. Some crisscrosses, alternating which arms are moving. Good. Okay, we're going to start. We're going to do 12 to 15 reps of each. You want to max out on these. Meaning by the time you get to 12 or 15, you shouldn't be able to do any more. Otherwise, you should have gotten probably a little bigger range or a little harder option. So first is our handstand push-up. So you have that downward dog push-up option where you're in the upside down V, dropping down, lifting up. Okay, you could also bend your knees here or you could even come to kneeling. Two other options that are available to you are to be on a bench or a chair, going here, or go into full handstand push-up where you're upside down, pushing up from here. Okay, so find the option that works for you. Remember, by the time you get to 12 to 15, you should be maxed out, meaning you can't quite make it all the way up. We're going to really fatigue that upper body. Full range of motion. I'm going to do four more. Your last rip, see if you could go that extra inch. And two. And one little break in between sets while I explain what's next. Tricep push up. So you will need a chair, a bench, a couch, something to do your tricep push ups on. So grab one if you don't have one. So, options you're going to put your hands, fingers forward with the thumbs forward, right on the edge of that chair or couch. And then just shift your hips. Now, right here, think of pulling up out of your shoulder blades, pushing down into the hands to lift up energy through the crown. Now, you're bending down as far as you can until you start rounding. So keep that chest nice and wide. You're welcome to stay here. If you want to level up, straighten those legs out, increase your range. And you're really squeezing on the back side of that tricep, the back side of the arm, all the way straight, all the way bent. Good. Most of us are super lower body dominant. We work our legs a lot, hiking, walking, running, Whatever you do, it's probably leg dominant. So working all the arms in all these different directions, all these different <laughs> muscles is a big deal. We usually don't work our arms to fatigued or really work their endurance. So huge benefits here. Couple more, remember you wanna get to that point where you barely can even get up again. Yes, good, now relax. Okay, we're gonna give our arms a little break, go into a Russian twist. So grab onto your thighs, find your C curve, pull your stomach in, ribs pull the hip, and you're just going to twist side to side. You decide how deep you go. Any pressure in the back, you've gone too far down. So this should be stomach dominant. Option to lift one leg. Second option would be lift both legs, pulling in. Any pressure in the back, you need to lay her down or come up to more sitting. Nice deep breaths here. We have about four. And three, pulling the stomach in further. Two, and one. Good. One more exercise here. We're going to do swan dive push-ups. So a swan dive is a Pilates move, which is just a full spinal extension. Okay? So we're going to turn out our toes and knees so they're facing opposite, and they're about mat width apart. So find that. And we're going to do 
three different sets of these. So our first is going to be wide elbow. So they're not going directly outside. Palm slightly down. Eye gaze is down towards the mat. Glutes are engaged. You're going to press directly up, directly down. As you come down, think of lengthening from the crown of the head. As you come up, your eye gaze is slightly forward. Keep length through the back of your neck. So if there's wrinkles or creases on the back of your neck, nod your chin forward slightly. The wider your arms are away from you, the easier this is going to be. Okay? So take your options. Any pressure in the back, take those arms a little wider, and you might not go full range. Good. We are doing 12 to 15 here. And then we're doing 12 to 15 pulses just to make sure we got you. Set your scapula down, pull up on your stomach. Little pulses. Up and down, pull the shoulder blades down. Look slightly forward of the mat so the back of the neck is long. Pull up through the stomach. And five, four, three, two. All the way up, squeeze the arms. All the way back down. Shake it out for a second. We go right into triceps. So elbows this time are pulling into your rib cage. Again, legs are wide. Glutes are engaged in pressing down. And again, you're going to press it up, press it down. You can go further away. You can even go forearms down, forearms up, forearms down, forearms up. This is a great option. You're still going to get that nice big burn. This is for the muscles on the back side of your arms, the ones that get flappy as we age, that wave when you wave. So squeeze up on those back arm muscles, the triceps. Squeeze the elbows in towards one another, towards your rib cage every time. Good. As you press up, pull the shoulder blades down your back. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. We have four and three and two and one. Halfway down, little pulses and 12, 11. Pull the elbows in, shoulder blades down, head long, stomach engaged, and three and two and press it up. Yes, bring it down, shake it out a little. We have one more set here. So this is a diamond, so your pointer finger and thumb are going to come together. Okay, again, the further out your hands, easier. Closer into your chest is going to be harder. So find the option that works for you. Take a big exhale. And then press up. This is it, you guys. Complete fatigue on your arms is what you should feel. Good, keep the stomach lifted. Eye gaze forward, shoulders away from the ears, especially as you fatigue. We got to think of all those forms, all the technique, all the principles. Yes. And we have five and four, three, two, all the way up, shoulders down, stomach in. Let's end super strong. Here we go with our pulses. How low neck can you go? And pulse. Pulse, keep the shoulders down, keep lifting through the stomach. And eight, seven, six, drop an inch, five, four, three, two, all the way up, squeeze in your triceps, and all the way down. <laughs> all the way up, nice job, you guys. Let's take a quick stretch. Unless your arms aren't fatigued, then start the video again and do everything over again, right? You could do two sets of this if you have time. Pull, when you're ready to stretch, pull the arm across. Drop that shoulder down so you're actively pulling the shoulder down and back. Yes, and then your other one. Pull that shoulder down and back. Slowing down the breath. And then a little tricep. So you're going to grab onto your elbow, pull it across, take a little side bend with that, opening up through the side body. And then your other arm. Woo! Great job, you guys. Make a great day today.